Okay, we're gonna do a quick video for posterity. This is the first time we've done aluminum uh, with this spindle on this machine. Uh, and we're gonna see how it goes. I've got my four by five uh, aluminum plates, 210 thousandths thick, and I've screwed it directly to the wasteboard to take out any irregularities uh, in the overall height. So we're gonna get it loaded up and see what we can do. Okay, so the first tool path is for the eighth inch two flute end mill. Uh, it's carbide. Uh, this is for the boring operation. We're gonna do that one first so I can hold each individual piece down to the wasteboard uh, to minimize chatter and vibration. Um, we're running at 10,000 RPMs, uh, 20 inches per minute with a 10,000 depth of cut. I've enabled ramping to kind of try to take some of the force off the cutter. Uh, we'll see if it works here in a second. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is crank the VFD up to 10,000 RPMs. The second thing I have to do is uh, pucker my butthole up real tight because I've never done this. I'm running without the uh, dust collector because I kind of want to keep an eye on it, but I'm also simultaneously afraid that the cutter is going to snap, shoot across the room, and then hit me in the jugular. So, that being said, here we go. Wrong. Okay, we're going to try this again. Uh, turns out Fusion decided to put workpiece zero in a place it never has before. Uh, so we adapt and we overcame and we're going to resume. This is absolutely terrifying. further review we've decided that even though it sounds aggressive the quality is really good so we're gonna roll with it okay we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it this was intended to be a test of accuracy and this is the counter board here and it's looking like it might turn out right sounds a lot better now that it's not doing a hard plunge might take a while though. Lost position. Somewhere. Okay, I'm rerunning the board program, and I'm guessing that we lost steps the first time uh, because these holes are in an entirely different place, but we're just going to roll with it because it's the only piece of aluminum we've got. Uh, so I backed the feed off a little bit. Hopefully that helps. But these holes are going to be a little bit wallowed out. Okay, so the next operation is a slight contour with this three flute quarter inch. Uh, carbide end mill. Uh, I've backed the feed way, way off, so hopefully we don't lose position again. Uh, this one's even scarier than the last. Here we go. Pucker butt, diarrhea time. I think this is going to work. I don't know why the boring op didn't want to work well. Let's speed up the feed a little bit. Should start taking a chip soon. Something's not level. That might have been part of our initial problem. Despite the bad sounds, we're at 
cotton. That smoke is a little bit of cooling I put on there. Doesn't look bad so far. Ships look okay. Making a huge mess. Okay, I've made some adjustments. We're doing the second half now. We're taking a bigger ship, and it seems to be working. Uh, the workpiece got super hot. It makes bad noises. Okay, so I didn't get to narrate over the chamfer, but I used a 90 degree uh, V-cutter, which was an absolute disaster due to vibration and chatter. Uh, so now we're going to scoop out the uh, little thumb radius uh, with this quarter inch ball end mill. And hopefully that goes a little bit better. Every one of these has a pucker factor to it. And of course I'm right up. Oh, oh. Right up here on it. Little bit of chatter. This part's turning out really cool. Really cool. Tool marks are awesome on it. I'd almost rather do the whole thing with this tool. Okay, so we're going to have to take another look at the speeds and feeds for this. It's hard to see. I'm almost through on the left-hand side here, uh, but we've generated so much heat that I'm pretty sure I am burning my wasteboard. Um, I've been using a little bit of coolant. Uh, obviously, I'm going to follow this through till the end at this point, uh, but there's going to have to be a better way of doing this and abating the heat clearing the chips from the slot so that we don't get chip weld build up all kinds of nasty stuff like that um, yeah it's a little hot right now 
I'm just running another quick chamfer pass with the 90 degree view mill, which is uh, just taking off the big burr that the quarter inch end mill pushed up. Uh, everything worked well except for the quarter inch. I suspect it's because I was slotting instead of pocketing. And so the chips got stuck, the sides of the tool rubbed, it generated way too much heat. Um, it was an aggressive tool path, but it, it, it should have worked fine. Um, everything else seems to have turned out really well. Uh, so what I've learned is, number one, holding the material down is a huge issue. It's definitely something you want to address. Um, vibration and chatter are no joke. That thing's got to be tight. Um, feeds and speeds are critical. There is a tiny bit of wiggle room. Uh, generating heat is a nightmare. Uh, these things are way too hot to touch. I'm pretty sure I almost caught something on fire, so definitely be careful with that. Um, I think I could definitely do it again and better. Overall, I'm happy, but I'm definitely going to end up buying a new quarter inch end mill because that one is burnt up. And uh, that's what I've learned about machining aluminum. I'll get you some beauty shots here at the end once these things cool down. While I wait for these to cool down, you can see how hot everything got that it burnt the toolpath into the uh, MDF wasteboard. Um, so that was a little concerning.